Greetings, Earth signs. This is, I'm going to clump y'all together to get caught up. So this is your weekly Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for December the 6th through December the 12th. Earth signs, Taurus, uh, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, we're going to see what is going on with you guys. I will break it up, okay? I will break it up at least, uh, you know, pull a new spread. So the first one will be Taurus, then we'll do Virgo, and then we'll do uh, Capricorn last. So that way you at least get, you know, you guys get your own little section. All right, so the Nine of Wands, somebody is coming out of the Wounded Warrior, Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, you guys could be dealing with a Sag, no doubt. Three of Swords, you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody feels brokenhearted over some ending. Ooh, Libra, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, baby. Ooh, baby. Okay, so we're dealing with a Sagittarius, possible uh, Libra here, Taurus. Somebody is feeling broken heart. Somebody is fearing rejection. Somebody wants to come in and possibly uh, uh, talk to you guys, but they're holding back. They're getting over this Three of Swords energy. So let's see what's coming. Whoa. Oh, yeah. There's been a thriller in Manila, baby, with the Five of Wands overall card. There is some fierce competition, baby. The King of Cups. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, okay? So y'all could be dealing with a Cancer, uh, Pisces, or Scorpio, possibly. Uh, again, Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody want to come in there. Can I talk to you? Baby, somebody racing back up in there. There's some competition. You guys are about to glow up, huh? You guys have been working on yourself, healing yourself from that third-party uh, situation. And now, Aquarius, you guys, uh, this person, this is Aquarius, but Taurus, this person is definitely racing back in. You guys could have been dealing with a runner, um, and now they've been holding back their emotions. Now they're ready to come in and uh, expre express how they feel. Temperance in reverse. Yes, this person is getting impatient because of all of this attention you guys are getting. Some type of competition. Look at their landing over the King of Cups with the Knight of Swords is reconciliation there for Tauruses. Somebody is heavily thinking, you know, about getting back together, reconciling with you guys coming in. And they're getting a little impatient, okay, with that temperance, divine Sagittarius. The fool card, this person may be ready to take the leap of faith. Maybe they oh, they may feel that there's an ending coming on. Maybe you guys blocked this person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and now they are deciding to come back in after this ending to express what all of this chaos is about, okay? Then y'all got the sun card. Let's go from the bottom here. So the fool card is right there. You got the eight of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, the high priestess. You guys are following your intuition. There, y'all leveling up. Y'all leveling up with that star card. You guys started focusing on yourself. Y'all were dealing with a runner or a chaser. You guys decided to give up, walk away, follow your own intuition. Possibly this king of cups decided to walk away from some things, right, that they have been dealing with. A lot of confliction, all right? A lot of confliction and restrictions, baby. All right? And a lot of competition for you guys. So, this is definitely somebody leveling up time here. They have been following their intuition, all right, following some guidance. Look at there, w working very hard. Okay, so somebody was hard at work. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Hot Mama Summer. They find you guys attractive. They see how you guys are going after what you want, your work, your pinnacles. Uh, you guys, Tauruses, uh, are definitely hard at work. You're manifesting. There's Amen Ra, the most powerful card in the deck, alongside the Queen of Wands, baby. She goes after what she wants. I call her Hot Mama Summer, baby, because she ain't finna waste no goddamn time on nobody. Uh, she gonna go get that bag, all right? Whatever she wants. She'll take your man, too, y'all play with, all right? She, that's them karmics, baby. They've been took y'all man and the money, goddamn it. All right, so there we go. The under all call, leap of faith. Somebody coming back up in there want to talk to y'all. Uh, again, somebody could have been starting something. Somebody wants a new beginning after the first one was full of chaos and a lot of competition, possibly a lot of agitation uh, for some of you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius card here. So Taurus is, ooh, 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 ooh. Where's my little bitty cards at? Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify some of these. Let's see what's really going on with this stuff, y'all. All right, Taurus is out there. Okay, full game. Let's see what's going on with these earth signs this week. 
Oh, somebody is not talking. Somebody's dealing with some stagnation. I'm gonna move this to the side so we can clarify this King of Cups first uh, for you guys, Tarsus. All right, let's see what's going on with that King of Cups, Gemini, this uh, Knight of uh, Sword, this Ten of Sword, Eight of Cups, High Priestess, uh, Tree of Life, Eight of Coins, Queen of Wands, and this Leo, this uh, Sideways, Three of Cups, and this Reverse Temperance. All right, so we're going to clarify those and see who you guys are dealing with for the week of December the 6th through the 12th. Make sure you guys go to my Patreon account, Kim Arts. It'll be in the link below. And like and subscribe. Hit that bell button on YouTube so you know when I am logging on. All right. So let's see. Ooh, we got some uh, confusion here. Somebody got some choices, options, and uh, a lot of emotions they're having to sort through. So let's see. King of Cups clarified with woo, the High Priestess twice. Okay, that's a direct sign from... Spirit saying, you guys need to follow your intuition twice, okay? That is a clear sign. Pay attention to the doubles or the triples, okay? So if I get a third deck out, you right? So you guys, this King of Cups is following their intuition. They see you as a high priestess. They see that you guys are connected. They could be getting readings too, or they could be just following their intuition too. So again, let's see, you know, through all this confusion and all this betrayal about this uh, new uh, leap of faith or this new opportunity that... Taurus is, uh, may want to go to, but you're feeling challenged by it. You're, you're feeling a lot of confused energy. So you guys may be waiting before you go in and do something. You guys may be holding back. So your high, your higher self is saying, what are you waiting for? You got the balance. You guys know what you're doing. You got both rams. You got what it takes. Uh, again, so follow your intuition. All right. Some of you Tauruses are highly sensitive. You kind of know when people are lying, even when they're not, uh, thinking, you know, that they're lying. Okay, or that they're hiding something. All right, Knight of Sword coming in with the truth. This Knight of Sword is coming in with the truth. Okay, they've been holding back. They've been ghosting some of you guys, hiding out, wanting you guys to chase them. They're the runner here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there is not, oh, y'all might be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but you could be dealing with a fire sign uh, that's been ducking and dodging on some of you guys. Okay, the Ten of Swords clarified by, whoop, the full card up, whoop the whoop, whoop the whoop. All right, we got two high priests out, two full cards out. So this is definitely an ending. Somebody's going to be taking a risk, taking a leap of faith with you guys, coming forward to uh, express the truth, huh? And then the Eight of Cups, whoa, up in their head like Fred and Frida, baby. This person cannot get y'all out of their head, Okay. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, High Priestess, clarified by what? The will of fortune, destiny and fate, good luck. Some of you guys are called to be a High Priestess. Taurus is out there. You guys are definitely, this is in your destiny. This is, uh, again, in you guys' destiny to be a High Priestess. That is not for everyone. That is probably for a select few Tauruses out there. They may be already reading uh or doing something along the high priestess, you know, divinely uh, intuitive, empathic, could be psychic. Uh, it's part of y'all destiny. You guys uh, have a position here that's very uh, helpful, okay, to humanity, right? The level up card. What? You guys got a business. Yes, this is somebody's business, possibly. Somebody is sitting in a king pen, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This could be somebody that wants to come in and take the risk with you guys. You guys may have had two people you guys were crossed up or confused about or in competition. You could have had a King of Pentacles and a King of Cups, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, somebody want to come towards you. Somebody is all up in their head. They see that you guys are the one for them, that you guys got a great destiny. Somebody wants to come in and take a leap of faith with you guys. Ooh, who is this Eight of Pentacles? The moon. Oh, you got somebody pissed off that y'all work. Oh, somebody is pissed off all up in y'all head about y'all work. They are hiding the feelings. You know, they are angry because you guys are productive. You guys are working on something. You could be keeping it a secret, which you shall keep it a secret. You guys should be keeping uh, your love life, your money, and your business if you got your own business a secret. All right. So this person is mad. Could be a cancer. But because you guys are working on something it quietly and secret and you're not sharing so, again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a moon card. Queen of Wands, Hot Mama Summer, baby, Libra. Oh, so y'all dealing with a Libra that's kind of mad at y'all because y'all not sharing 
uh, what you're working on. Somebody could be mad at because you're the high priestess here also, and they are not. There's going to be some balance justice out here twice with that. Y'all going to get some truth here. Definitely with this Leo card, some truth is about to come and shine. Y'all dealing with a soulmate here. Could be dealing with a karmic at the same time that is pissed off because you guys are working effectively. You're hard at work. You're not sharing any secrets. You're working in silent uh, and it's pissing somebody off, right? Okay, it's pissing somebody off. You guys are getting balanced again. Uh, again, you guys are going after you want what you want. Uh, Jupiter Sagittarius Payback Daddy is rewarding you guys for sharpening your skills, for, you know, working so hard on your businesses with that king pen. Who is this Leo? Ooh, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Somebody wants to come in and offer you guys a cup. Taurus Capricorn Virgo, possibly. This person want to take the leap of faith with you guys. Clear up all that confusion, right? So somebody's going to be getting a message. Coming from a Knight of Cups, a water sign. Uh -huh. Wow, let's clarify that Three of Cups. Ooh, somebody's holding back that they, Four of Pentacles, that they want a reconciliation with you guys. This King of Cups is. Temperance in reverse. Whoa, Hierophant. Somebody is getting impatient with you guys. Because you guys are working very hard. You're, you're successful. They're all up in their head, possibly because you guys walked away from them with that with that Eight of Swords, Gemini, Lead of Aquarius, and left them all confused, you know, with that uh, Seven of Cups under there. They don't understand why. Maybe you had plenty of choices. Maybe they had plenty of choices, and y'all said y'all was not going to compete against somebody. So this person wanted you guys, in a nutshell, to run after them. They wanted you guys to run after them. Now this person is getting impatient because you guys are not running after them. Wow, Taros. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Let's see if we can get any repeats out of here. That's for December the 6th through the 12th. Y'all let me know below if it resonates. Take what does, leave the rest. It's for entertainment purposes. It's for your rising sun, moon, Venus, Jupiter, cusps, cross watches. Y'all know the drill. All right, we run the eye raw if it doesn't resonate. Okay, Ten of Swords. Somebody is definitely going to be walking away, cutting their losses, and we got that Ten of Swords right there over that food card, right under the food card. So let's see what Spirit says to you guys. What is your challenge here? Yeah, there's your Four of Pentacles again. So y'all do got to repeat Four of Pentacles that crossed over the Three of Cups here. So again, with this King of Cups and this uh, Knight of Swords. So this person is hiding the facts still, holding back the facts still. That they want to come and reconcile with you guys. This person has a lot of pride. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see what spirit's challenge is. What is y'all challenge? Ooh, y'all challenge. Oh, Lord. Some. Ooh, God. What? What, Taurus? Tauruses. Challenge leveling up. King of Pentacles. The Sun card. The Knight of Cups. And you guys get the Hierophant and a victory and success. Wow. So you guys is to take that success and enjoy it. You guys are to appreciate this victory. You guys have already won. Against all the confusion, all the competition, you guys are already winners. Wow. Woo. Leo, Taurus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Six of Wands, the Knight of Cups. This King of Pentacles is definitely coming in. This is a generous person. They are going to be coming in to you guys. Look, they're already looking out. You know, you guys, they might feel it. You might be expecting it. You guys are looking at your future. The ball's in y'all court. Uh, again, that's where the impatience could be coming. That's where the holding back could be coming in at. Woo, that was strong. That was way strong, okay? Let's see what the obstacle is. What is the obstacle for Tauruses out there, Spirit? What is the obstacles? Wow. Y'all challenge is the Hierophant card and the Six of Wands? That's a beautiful challenge. <laughs> Let's see what this is. The Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and oop, there's that Ace of Swords again. So you guys could be dealing with a Libra. All right, so what is the obstacle here? Somebody's standing in your way. Somebody is. What else, Spirit? Yep, somebody's trying to block you guys. You may have cut this person off. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, again, they're, look at that second sun card. Oh, my God. 
somebody is trying to uh, maybe trying to communicate with you guys or want to communicate with you guys, uh, but they're not. Somebody's got a tough decision. Somebody's at a stalemate. Uh, what else is this obstacle spirit? So y'all dealing with an air sign. Obstacle. Oh, page of wands We're over this new start. So you got up oh, Jupiter Sagittarius twice. There we go. The wheels of karma, the wheels of change coming in. What is your advice, spirit, for Tarsus? Wheels of change. Wow. Whoa. And Libra. And a tower moment. Oh my gosh. Y'all got some major abundance coming in, some major good luck and karma coming in. Everything is going to be balanced here in Sagittarius season. Uh, Jupiter Sagittarius payback daddy with Libra. There's Libra and Jupiter right there again. So you guys pulled that out twice. So you guys are definitely, things are going to be restored here. Y'all could have had a tower moment and things kind of got off balance. But now you guys are back on balance. You don't have to worry about that. That's why y'all got that food card. Y'all going to be taking that leap of faith, taking a risk, right? Wow, Libra and Jupiter. Libra and Sagittarius. You guys got Will of Fortune and Fate and Destiny coming in, working in your pay, in your favor. Good karma is coming back to you guys. No wonder y'all got that sun card twice that came out. You guys been hard at work, and now Payback Daddy has got to reward you guys with that higher level love out twice. So there could be definitely a marriage. Uh, you guys are getting in. Uh, uh, you guys may be getting impatient, possibly, if it's a marriage, you guys, or some type of celebration. Like, you guys are not seeing it yet. But it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. All right. So let's do our... I almost stopped it, and then I realized you can't stop it. <laughs> I almost stopped it. Hold on, y'all. Let me get these out the way. All right, seventeen forty four from Virgo. I need to write that down because I will forget that. 1744 Virgo. 1744 Virgo. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on with you Virgos out there. going on with our Virgo spirit for the week of the 6th through the 12th of December. Somebody's leveling up, Virgo. Somebody is leveling up with that tree. Oh, Lord, is it the level up time. Taurus, Virgo, you guys are leveling up. Virgo, somebody's coming towards you guys. Could be a Taurus, Earth sign. Could be an air, water, or fire sign. You guys are leveling up. You're feeling optimistic. You got a certain, uh, like a charge of energy. For this new cycle uh, that's coming around for you guys. So you definitely are in the glowing up season too as well. Whoa! Ten of cups. You guys are thinking about your family. Look at there. And moving. Possible moving your family. Relocating. Right? You guys are dealing with a three of sword. Uh, could be a Libra out there. Uh, again, somebody that shortchanged you guys. Could be a Cancer uh, Moon. Jim, uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Uh, you guys could be a, a Taurus uh, Moon as well. So somebody uh, definitely owes you guys something or you guys been break from in somebody. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't have to be. It's whatever that person's energy and sign is. Don't take it so exact. Ooh, two of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mother figure here with the queen of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you might feel like somebody did something to you guys, Virgo. There is an Aries Leo Sagittarius. There is a divine connection right there. Soulmates coming in. Some of you guys may have gotten your heart broke. Okay. Family broken. Come from a broken home. You guys are trying to move on. Eight of Cups. Follow your own intuition. 
again, somebody's been breadcrumbing you or somebody's not been given to you guys uh, equally. Yeah, somebody's been hiding something, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So you guys may feel like somebody's been hiding. Yeah, crying over spilled milk, third party situation. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Somebody been stuck up in the head like Fred and Freedom. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Get out your head, Fred and Freedom. Go to bed. Y'all let me know down below, Virgos, if y'all uh, relate to this. It's for your rising sun, moon, Venus, Jupiter, Cuspers, Cross Watchers. Y'all know what the drill is. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. So somebody want to collaborate with you guys. Soulmate energy coming in here. Well, and the four of cups. You guys been contemplating, thinking about something possibly. There's that palace of fire. Or wands. What else for Virgos? Spirit. Ooh, two of swords. Y'all got a decision to make. King of Ooh, King of Coins and the Ace of Wands. So you guys want to go after something uh, passionate that you love for your family or possibly want a family. Uh, somebody may want to get y'all pregnant. Virgo, if you're female. Or if you're a male, you want to get somebody's pregnant, maybe. Uh, or you want to just start something new. Uh, something you're, you feel inspired to do. All right, we're going to, we're going to clarify... Queen of, I mean, not the Queen of Swords. We're going to clarify for Virgos this Three of Swords, Two of Cups, King of Wands, Eight of Cups, Five of Cups, King of Wands, I mean, Knight of Wands, Three of Coins, Four of Cups, and Two of Cups, and also the Four of Cups right there. We need to see what's really going on with you guys. Oh, my car's trying to get away. Somebody got a lot to say. Okay, judgment, judgment, wake up call, wake up call, somebody's calling, the devil is, <laughs> uh-oh, and Leo calling, uh-oh, y'all being pulled in two directions, all right, the devil and Leo calling, ooh, y'all trapped, I feel like y'all feel like y'all trapped here, Virgo, uh, between the devil and uh, your lower nature possibly playing tricks on you guys, this energy is so heavy, like that I am getting literally sleepy. Somebody's not getting enough sleep because I am so fucking sleepy. A lot of heavy energy. You guys have been definitely up worried about this five of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, possibly because this person walked away from you guys uh, and you've not been getting any rest ever since that, that person left, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Devil card, this is y'all lesson. Big Daddy Kane in the building. All right, Tarts, uh, that's Capricorn. Big Daddy Kane, business, work, and career. So you guys got some collaborations coming in. Somebody want to come back and walk and work with you guys, express their emotions. Somebody could be walking away, uh, not expressing their emotions, holding back. Let's see who the first card is. Three of Sword. There's an ending. There's an ending to this three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this separation, uh, if it's not over, it will be. It will be. You guys are going to be ending this um, three of swords energy, you know, um, somewhere between three and ten weeks. You guys are going to be walking away. It's, it no longer serves you. Eight of cups. You guys are going to be walking away. Let's see. Two of cups. For victory and success. King of Wands. Up oh, there, you're your knight again. Pay attention to the doubles, just like I told Tauruses. Y'all got your knight of wands coming back. Passionately. Could be y'all gaslighter. Page of Pinnacle with that Eight of Cups. Y'all leaving to follow your own passion. Okay, your own sense of direction. Five of Cups, the Magician. Oh, Lord, they are definitely trying to manifest you back. Knight of Wands, there's your two of sword again. So, wow, these two overlap. Oh, my gosh. 
the Knight of Swords with the Two of Swords. There's a Two of Swords. There's the Knight of Wands with the King of Wands. Oh my gosh. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You guys got some heavy energy. Y'all need to take a break. Because <laughs> I am like drugged, dragged, feel like. Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys have, you know, hopefully you guys haven't been drinking yourself like out of this sorrow because that's not going to get it, Virgo. You guys can't turn to, uh, what do you call that? Alcohol or uh, what do you call the smoky? Uh, Y'all know what I'm trying to say to escape the problems or this mental five of cups, uh, emotional mental breakdown here. Uh, the magician card, you guys are trying to manifest a new offer, a new idea. Let's see, so. I'm even yarning, good Lord. Like I was doing good during Taurus and all of a sudden I just got so super sleepy. You Virgos out there just really need to go to sleep. <laughs> Stop staying up thinking about this person, this three of cups pipe that you didn't take, you know, or that you still have yet to go and check on to see if you still got it. Okay, the, the four of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, eight of wands. Two of Swords, there you go. King of, the, not the King of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's crossed over a decision. The Four of Coins, the Knight of Cups. Oh, gosh. We got the Eight of... Oh, the Empress, baby. The Empress, Virgo. Oh. The Empress, the Tower moment, and the Temperance card, and the Four of Wands, and being left out in the cold. So you guys could have been put out, had some type of loss of job or epiphany, but you guys know you guys want this person here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that is y'all person. So you guys definitely... Please get some rest. This is awful. I even felt the palpitation then a minute ago. You guys may need some magnesium. Go get your levels checked. Maybe some magnesium. Uh, if you guys are getting chest pains, go see a doctor. Because uh, you guys are seem to be under a lot of stress here. I'm feeling it. It's about to knock me out. It's about to knock me out or even, or that sedation, you know, to get y'all away from this five uh, cups and four of cups. I'm fighting this thing with everything I got. Somebody is deeply heartbroken because it is fucking heavy told. Like I just felt a flutter in my chest. Oh my gosh. Somebody, three of swords up there. Could have been from this gaslighter, you guys, that left you guys and didn't say anything. They just come and go and it breaks y'all heart because y'all really want to, y'all really want this person. But I feel like y'all definitely going to be letting go of uh, Virgos of this person because of the heartbreak. It's too much for some of you guys. Hell, it's too much for me right just then. Damn, you're about to make me fall out the goddamn chair. All right. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but goddamn, y'all about to put my ass to sleep. All right, with this heavy ass energy, come on now. 2910 is gonna be Capricorn. 2910, let's see what the caps are up to with these earth signs. Okay, cappies. All right, let's see what the cappies are up to. Spirit, what do you got? What message do you have for the Capricorns out there? Somebody here is one. Whoop, two of cups. Whoa, something's about to get birthed, a heart-to-heart -heart talk situation. Soulmate's about to come in. Soulmate, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with uh, Scorpio there under the deck. Let's see what's going on. Capricorn, Magician. Okay. Oh, y'all got a reconciliation too. Whoa, Magician, Aquarius, Scorpio. 
life, death, and rebirth, reconciliation, celebration, or a, or a what did I say? Re three things. Reconciliation, celebration, or third party. Still a separation, right? Or somebody's coming together. Okay? And have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So let's see what's going on with you guys, Capricorn. Uh-oh. And that's the House of Passion. That wanted to come out. There's the Magician card. So you guys could be dealing with a word sign with a word sign or yep there's that victory and success it would have been in reverse but the way i picked it up put it back in the upright eight of pentacles charles can't come but oh the four of wands paid somebody was acting childish what else spirit Rags to riches. Ooh, King of Wands. One more spirit. Up oh, there we go. Cup, Palace of Cups. Under all card, the Gaslighter. So the Gaslighter wants to have a heart to heart talk, Cap Capricorn. You guys are stuck. You guys could be feeling stuck or is stuck, stagnant. Got a tough decision you guys need to make. So somebody wants the victory with you guys. They want to come forward, but you guys don't trust this person. You're making a decision to move forward. Uh, this person wants the victory with you guys. They want a reconciliation. They want to share in your victory. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's definitely been wearing a mask here. Let's clarify the magician, six of wands, uh, four, the five of swords, page of cups, six of the eight of wands, the three of cups, the seven of pentacles, the king of wands, and the palace of cups. Let's clarify those, and then we'll clarify this passion for the wands. So we already cut. We got soulmate energy under there. So let's see. What's the soulmate here with the magician? What the death card again, second time? It's over. Victory and success. Somebody was dealing with a breadcrumber. Y'all got vi victory over getting over somebody that was breadcrumbing you guys. Wasn't willing to give anything so you guys did this situation ended it and went on and rebirthed something else five of swords Gemini Leave leave Aquarius the world card this person wants to talk to you about getting everything giving everything uh, starting over possibly so let's see Capricorn page of cups Libra eight of wands everything uh, three of cups waiting for something to grow let's see the seven of pentacles spy card somebody's watching you work and sacrifice waiting on something king of wands planning a future The page. Ooh, the palace of the of the wands is classified by Virgo. So there's a Virgo out there that has deep passion for you guys. Okay. Y'all definitely got marriage and union coming in with that Libra and the hair card. You got union. Let's see. Somebody definitely wants to rebirth a new offer with you guys. They're they're wanting, they're praying for a start over. They're watching, trying to figure out what they can come in to do to get you guys to start over and take this new leap of faith with them. They've been trying to manifest you guys.
Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what your... Y'all got some heavy energy, too. Let's see what your obstacle is. There's been some endings here. There's the Sun card. Leo, Knight of Pentacles. There's Libra. There's Libra. Let's see, what is the challenge here for Capricorn Spirit? Mmm, tower moment. With the page of sword with the three of wands, this card is ten of cups. Somebody is spying. Wondering about y'all Ten of Cups. If y'all happy at home, this could be an ex. Could be y'all gaslighter. And then over here with the Ace of Pentacles, they're thinking about the, the there's Aquarius. They're thinking about some offer they left y'all waiting on the table with. So Four of Cups. Aquarius, Hangman, and Five of Wands. And you got Five of Wands up there. So definitely, there's a challenge here. Aquarius, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm -mm -mm. This energy is very, very heavy, y'all. I don't know if someone out there has a lot of drinking they've been doing. But it's heavy as fuck. Okay, let's see if that card fell down there. Oh, Lord. Somebody moving like a damn turtle, like a snail. Like, that's how... Maybe somebody put some spells on you guys. That's what I'm seeing right here. Capricorn, somebody has slowed you down. Somebody's trying to manifest you guys, but somebody's trying to keep y'all hung up, keep y'all confused, and also from y'all Ten of Cups. So somebody's definitely, y'all had Magician twice, so there is definitely somebody doing something. It feels like spell work. So you guys are definitely, somebody's doing something on you guys to ruin your happiness or to block you guys from being happy. Like they want to keep y'all waiting for some, for your Ten of Cups. They don't want y'all to move forward. You know, this person has the hots for you themselves. So this could be somebody that liking somebody else that doesn't like them and like somebody else. And they're doing spell work to make try to make the person not get the person that they want so that they can get the person that they want. Not knowing the person doesn't want, well, they probably do know the person don't want them. But my thing is I don't see why people do spell work against other people when other people don't want you. Like you're making somebody want you, that spell's going to wear off and bite people in the ass. I'm just so excited that all these love spells wearing the fuck off. Like, I'm so glad they these people are going to be distraught and that karma's going to knock these motherfuckers on their ass for interfering with people's destiny because you like a motherfucker. Don't a motherfucker like y'all? Why y'all out there doing spells on motherfuckers that don't like y'all? I wouldn't even want a motherfucker to want that. Oh, Lord, people sick. People sick. Knowing y'all asses is nasty out there trying to do spell work. This feels like a spell work, Capricorn. This really does. This this and Virgo, that energy just got so fucking tiring and exhausting once I got the Virgo and uh, Capricorn. You know, somebody's out there doing something. Y'all could have a, a, a Virgo or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, maybe even a Taurus. I don't know. Uh, Taurus, sun, moon, and rising is for y'all too, but the energy got extremely heavy. It's either alcohol for some of you guys, drugs or whatever. 
sedative for that broken heart. Uh, some people don't handle rejection. And that clearly was rejection with that three of sword. Some people don't handle rejection very well. But it also was spell too. Okay. So you guys could uh, be mad at your person because your person rejected you. Or y'all, your person's mad at y'all. And y'all and y'all are getting the spell work to not being happy or connecting with y'all person out there. But that shit wears off. Those spells don't last forever. It doesn't matter how many times you do them. They, over time, destiny and fate comes in and they just not even effective no more because nobody's greater than spirit. People think because they dibby-dabby with magic that they think they're greater than, you know, quote, God or the higher power uh, in the universe and we're not. Okay, because somebody's destiny, you can't fuck with people's destiny and think you're not going to face karma for it. So, these were weird readings to a point very good, but weird. Like, very weird, sedat sedative weird. But, um, hope y'all like it. Let me know down below. I will be putting up the extended to this spell shit. You know, this love spell going severely wrong. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm going to call it. And I'll have the extended on my Patreon account. The information will be below if you guys want to go over there and get that damn, uh, that, uh, extended. I will do this extended together for all three of you, but I want it at least y'all weekly broken up so that way whichever part you picked out in the weekly then you'll know to pick it out over there when i do it like just one big clump together uh earth sign okay peace love and harmony